everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you how to take care of your plants while you're on vacation using the Aerovore, this little gadget right here. So the Aerovore is a separate water tank that you can purchase as an accessory to the Aerogarden. It's a really simple, straightforward design. Basically you have a water tank, you have a little plastic base for it to sit on, some tubing, and this little pump. You could probably make this yourself, honestly, if you're handy. Um, I just went with the ready box made option. Um, I think it's a little sleeker. Uh, it was relatively affordable. It was about 30 to 40 bucks, and I got it a couple years ago, and I just keep reusing it. So it works, you know, forever, basically. Uh, so I think it's worth buying if you want a clean, simple look. And as for how it works, from my very non-technical understanding, um, it basically uses the law of gravity. So you place this right next to your air garden unit, and as water in the air garden basin um, gets used up, gravity will pull in the water from the separate water tank right next to it. So that's why I said if you're handy, you could probably just go to Lowe's, Home Depot, um, and rig this together yourself using some plastic tubing and a big um, you know, plastic bin. And honestly, if you are handy, you could probably make a much larger version for a much cheaper price. I think there's probably some tutorials online if you want to go that route. I do you think these look a lot sleeker and prettier though? So I'm going away on another ski trip, so that's why I figured I would set this up, show you how I do it, and also give you some troubleshooting tips. Um, it's very easy to do, but it's slightly finicky. Okay, so first things first, we need to fill up the water tank. Pretty sizable jug, it holds quite a lot of water, so it is quite handy. Um, but in terms of how long you can keep your plants alive, that really depends on how old, like how mature your plants are and how much water they take. Um, so it's a good thing to try and monitor how much water your plants are consuming before you actually set this up. So we're going to fill up the water jug. Um, I just use tap water. I keep it quite simple. If your local water source um, has like hard water or a lot of minerals in it, then you might want to try distilled. Um, I have always found that tap water works just fine for me. So then we screw the cap on, turn it upside down, and place it on the plastic base. I have the Harvest and the Bounty behind me, and as you can see, they're different heights. So the air bar is designed to be used with any air garden model, but depending on the exact model you have, you may or may not need to use this plastic base. I'm wearing black, so I don't know if you can see this. Uh, but basically, this just gives an extra little height boost, and for the larger units like the Bounty and the Farm, then you would need this plastic base. But for the Harvest, um, and the sprout, you don't. The reason why you want this plastic base is because we're relying on gravity, the water tank and the air garden um, basin need to be at the exact same height. So um, for the shorter models, that's why you would need this extra little height booster. And on the back sides of the air garden, you'll find these two little circles, these little raised bumps. You can kind of go in and pick out these little um, stoppers and basically you have two extra little hole spaces in the back on the left and the right. Basically pick out the stoppers to expose the hole and then that's where the plastic tube goes straight in. Um, and then you squeeze the pump, the air pump, about five to ten times just to get out any air bubbles that might be in the tube and you're good to go. I do think these are pretty straightforward and easy to use but in the past I definitely have run into some issues setting them up so I thought I would go into some troubleshooting tips if the air bar isn't working for you right out of the box. And setting them up at least a day or two before you actually leave. That way you give yourself some wiggle room and you can check that the um, water tank is actually pulling in water and working as it should before you go away. I've made the mistake of just setting it up, thinking it's all good, leaving and coming back to dead plants. So don't make my mistake and just set it up like a day in advance. So first make sure that your air garden water tank is low. Um, ideally like 50% water or less because the air bar only starts working when the water tank is low and it needs to draw in water. If your tank is full, it's very tempting to like fill up your water tank before you leave, but if the water tank is full, it's not gonna draw in any water and you won't be able to tell if it's set up properly. Second, make sure the tube is inserted all the way in so that the tube reaches the bottom of the basin. And that way it can gauge the water level properly. Um, you might, might be like a little twisted because it's in the back, might be going in sideways. Just make sure it's 
placed all the way down. And you can give the, cup, the pump a couple extra squeezes, like anywhere from five to 10 pumps, just to make sure that it you know, is drawing in water properly, that water's not spilling everywhere, um, and that, uh, that way you're also clearing out any air that might be left in the tube. Also, I recommend keeping an eye on it, like give it at least 30 minutes and just like sit there and watch it. The air bar works very slowly, and I didn't realize that at first. I thought if the water tank is empty, it'll just automatically draw in all the water it needs. Um, from the water tank, but it actually works super super slowly and does it over like a length of time So the way you can tell it's working is if you look at the water tank and you'll see these little air bubbles like kind of popping up towards the top and you can also um, Kind of sit there and, and hear it like it'll make a little um, sound and this is what it should sound like I don't know if you can hear that, but if you if you listen really quietly, you can hear like a like a little sound as the water is slowly um, transferring from the water tank to the farm. So that's another way to tell. And basically, just keep in mind it works pretty slowly, so definitely do it when you're not in a rush, when you're not like racing to get out the door. Um, ideally, the day before. And then hopefully um, that works for you. And then finally, I have some tips and tricks for keeping your plants alive while you're away. So right now my plants are still pretty young. Um, they're only about 45 to 60 days old and I'm only going away for a week. So I know from experience that they'll be fine with just this one extra water tank. But if my plants were larger, say six months old, two feet tall in the fruiting phase, um, then they can drink a lot of water. I know my pepper plants at six months old can drink like the entire farm basin in about two days. Um, so get a gauge for how much water your plants are going through and then kind of modify accordingly. Um, so the first thing you can do is turn on vacation mode. Vacation mode is a nice little feature that's in some of the air garden models and basically what it does is it cuts down the light cycle to half the time. So it really slows down the growth quite a bit and um, it's a really handy feature. The only problem is it's not in all the air garden units. It's basically in the ones that have like the little LCD screen. Um, so the Bounty Elite has it, the Farm XL, um, any of the basic models don't have it. Um, so my Bounty and Farm have it, but my Harvest is not. So I have to be kind of mindful what I'm putting in the Harvest versus what I'm putting in the other units. And I do think if you travel or you just, you know, you want some more flexibility to not be home all the time, then it is a handy feature. Um, but you know, it does cost a little bit more. So the second thing I would do is consider trimming the roots. Um, root trimming is part of my like maintenance anyway. Um, there's some people who do it, some people who don't, different kind of theories on it, but basically I think it's good just to keep your plants manageable, to make sure they're not growing into each other, and not growing, the roots aren't growing into the um, air garden pump. Um, so I do do it, and basically every time you trim the roots, you are setting the plant back a little bit because it's gonna put more energy into growing more roots. So um, it's a way to kind of uh, set the plant back a little bit if you're going on vacation and then that way it will um, not spend as much energy growing from the top. And the third thing you can do is prune the leaves, very similar to trimming the bottom. If you prune the top, um, you also set the plant back a little bit and pruning is one of those things some people do, some people don't. Um, I do tend to prune quite heavily, especially for my pepper plants. Um, and that's because I'm growing everything from start to finish indoors. So I'm really limited by the uh, capacity, the height capacity of the air garden units and um, I find that pruning helps to keep the plants compact, bushy, to produce a lot more in a very small space. Um, and it has worked for me, so I recommend giving it a try. Um, and yeah, so I basically prune um, mainly on the top, and that encourages more lower bushy growth. And that's something you can do to also get the, give the plants like a slower um, time while you're away. And then finally, of course, you can add the arivoir. So. Um, there's actually two holes on the back of each air garden unit. So I actually have two air water tanks and if you fill up the basin and then you have two extra water tanks, you basically have three water tanks. Um, so that is an option when your plants are full grown and using a lot. So, okay, and that's all my tips. I hope that was helpful. Uh, my friend just got here, so I have to head out. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any feedback or questions, as always, put it in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.